Hi everybody, it's Nikki and I'm here to do another video that is my personal experience, not to be used as medical advice. Um, sorry, my sugar is on the rise, so I'm gonna go do that in, in one second. Um, wanted to do a quick video on the Dexcom G6 transmitter on getting the last 10 days of the transmitter. I'm making the video only because I did not get the last 10 days on my last one. Um, and I would like to get those 10 days on every one, if at all possible. So um, for anybody who's looking for the information, basically, I think this, I think the transmitter is supposed to be good for 112 days. I think 110 days is just kind of makes it easier to work with. Um, just the numbers makes it easier, easier to get it done without making mistakes, which I am all mistakes. So I, so I mess up the first one. Um, and the way that works is that by the hundredth day, then I need to be either starting a new sensor or restarting one if it's looking good. Um, if I haven't done that, it's supposed to be by the hundred and second day, but if I haven't done it, let's say by about the hundredth day, assuming I've made a mistake, then I can't do it. Cause inside that last 10 days of the transmitter life, um, it won't let you start up a new sensor. So potentially on every transmitter, you can lose up to 10 days, making a year's worth 40 days. Um, so hardly worth getting excited over, but at the same time it's getting, you know, I hate the idea of losing 40 days a year uh, for no reason other than I forgot to mark it down um, or something like that. So I didn't, well, okay, anyway. So that's what it is. Um, basically, you can find your information. Um, you can find your information in your log, I think, under your options. And you just help my blood sugar. <laughs> Oh, I wasn't going to tell you guys what it was, but I guess I did. Anyway, okay, under log, uh, under options, under CGM history, nope, under, under CGM history and sensor and calibrations, sessions and calibrations. Um, so, and then you can look it up by date. I don't know how far back this goes. My guess is it doesn't go all the way back. Oh my goodness, it does go all the way back. Okay, so this is going back to January. So, so th they do go way back. Um, but that's where you can find out when you actually start up your new transmitter. I think going forward, I'm just going to start marking down the date and time, do it old school, um, either take a picture of it with my phone and add it to my collection of weird <laughs> diabetes pictures. Um, you know, mark it on my calendar, probably do all of them, mark it on my calendar, take a picture of the phone, check my log, um, and just make sure I have the right date and the right time. So that way, as I'm approaching that hundred day, I can start deciding what I want to do. Um, I think the best way to handle it is if the sensor is really looking good, um, for instance, if it's got a strong signal and the accuracy is good and everything else, um, I'd probably bank on extending it because that would be another way to save a buck um, if that's what you're in it for. Um, but if it's looking like that sensor is struggling a little bit and I don't know if it's going to be good for another 10 days, um, then maybe I just put in a new sensor. Um, so either way, you have some choices coming up on the 100th day. If you don't do it in time, then you don't have those choices and you just have to change your transmitter. And I did learn that on my last attempt because I marked down, I didn't even mark down a date, I remembered the date and I remembered it incorrectly. And so even though I thought I was giving myself four or five days padding, it turned out it was really just past that cutoff. So when I went to start in, to, when I went to start restart my sensor which was no sorry it was a brand new sensor so not only did i mess up but i lost a brand new beautiful sensor um when i went to go ahead and restart that beautiful sensor i was told to pair the new transmitter and i had to yank my sensor um so lesson learned i'm not going to do that again um i also learned one other thing just to share because it was the first time i've tried to put in a new transmitter um i did a great job got the value up on my phone on my dexcom app However, I never updated the transmitter ID in my pump, so I ended up going that night without basal IQ, and it was a rough night because my kid was real. My kid had the flu and had a 105 degree temperature and whatever, um, so it was a night with no basal IQ, and it was just a bad, unnecessary night. So from now on, I will remember to double check and make sure I'm updating my transmitter ID um, definitely in my pump because that's the important one. Um. I can't remember if there was anything else that I wanted to say about the, this is me attempting to get organized. Um, my, my transmitter, I put in March 10th. It means that on June 18th at the crack of dawn, I'm going to go ahead and restart my sensor. And that is, that's a hundred days. 
um, and oh, restart or start. Okay, I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. I'm gonna go dance and do my run. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.